Give me one reason to stay here. And I'll turn around and come right back. Babe, I got your number. See, all right. And here you can't turn, okay? Right here. But I was just at, I was at this light over here. It's a, oh, it's sort of like a Y section. It's a Y. All right, you can't turn there. So, so I had to go, I had to go this way. And, uh, you know, you have to go down there. And uh, it was troopers, because I was like, sitting there, I was like, I, I want to, like, fix my coffee, but I said to myself, by the time I do it, it will probably, probably turn green, and uh, I don't know. Anyway, let's try it. We got different creamers. These are like the gold creamers, so let's, uh, let's see how it is this morning. Not bad. Piping hot, by the way. Give me a longer reason. I'm going nowhere. Somebody help me. Hey, anyway, I called my friend Frank because he called over the over the holiday. I think it was I don't know. He's saying it was the New Year's holiday, but that that could be accurate. It was probably it was probably New Year's Eve or the day before, one or the other. Yeah, but now I think about it. Because I waited a while, I think I think it most likely was the day um, day before. But but anyway, there are phone records on uh, like on the Time Warner. I mean, if you just like go to the lock, you know, you look. Does anybody get those calls? You know, they're just annoying calls. We're pretty good, you know, because I called Time Warner. I mean, ninety nine percent of them don't go through. It's just like one ring. But you still get the thing like, you know, are you in pain or this, that, or, or I'm from here or I'm from there. I think it's totally inappropriate. I don't think, you know, phone soliciting should be, you know, uh, allowed anymore. I think uh, if people want to, I mean, God, you're on the internet and everything. Well, I, I, I'm i saying myself, a lot of people are dropping off like flies. Especially people who want their privacy protected. I mean, I, you know. You hear stories, you hear stories about it. It all depends what kind of news station you listen to. But I remember hearing a story. So anyway, I was at this light and there was a taxi behind me. I don't know what the hell I'm doing up here again. I'm not, I don't want to go back over that way, I just came from that way. But, I guess you can turn here. For the longest time I thought you couldn't take a red on red. Because I used to know this, this whole area. I mean, very well, very well. You used to know every cook and cranny and crevice and everything. Like, you know, I delivered on and off, like, for, uh, for 10 years. I did various things at this place. And we'll be talking about youth. Because I did call them. Right? I called them. And, um, it's like, I, I noticed, you know, you're looking for help all the time over there. I mean, it's explaining. Well, he's in a good part. Too, by the way, Sarasota. So, um, he just tell me, he said, it's hard to find help. Like, you know, it's hard to find, he said, people these days, like teenagers, they're very, they're not, they're not even motivated. They're not motivated at all. I mean, that's just his, you know, that's what he said. You gotta take his word for it. It's also tell me about, there's this one intersection where, um, well, it's kind of known where this, this one guy has this, uh, big, big flag, you know, big flag down there, and, uh, you know, we were having a good conversation, he's really, really close, really close, I, I knew him when, uh, since I was eight years old, and I met him, he came, uh, his family came from Italy, they came from, uh, the same place where, uh, my, uh, my father's parents, Calabrese, and, uh, he used to get along very well. I mean, I was born here in the United States, but uh, that's where, see, back in the day, my father had been here for, well, for a lot, for a long time, so, you know, well, he spoke great Italian, and it's nice, you know, you have all that ancestry thing, people want to know about stuff, um, the thing is, his parents, Catalina, 
and Caesar. Yes, Caesar. Oh, I love that guy. It's like it, it's also memory. Oh, got someone behind me. Um, hold on, let me check out McNamara. They're right on me. Often unable to get treatment in the early Wow. I don't know what to do. It's scary. Like when they when people get there, you gotta like allow a certain amount of car space to be able to stop. And uh, I guess people do not pay attention to stuff like that. I mean, you can only go so fast, and we'll get to that. Uh, I mean, he's really in a hurry. Or she, I don't know. Yes, he's even going around like that. He just. I mean, you do the speed limit. Some kind of crown car. I mean, alright. Some kind of crown. Victoria crown. The, oh! And yes, that reminds me. I don't know why Victoria, but. Um, what was that song that like well, it was in 2015 when Morrissey was here and I was you know, I, I talked about it I even I put something over Aspo's Walk because I figure you know yeah, I figure it, it's a it's a place where I can I can go and, and talk I don't know we'll get to all that too but I realized you know I'm busy you know you, you don't want to you don't want me coming over and try to I mean, the bottom line, all I just wanted to do, I really wanted to say hi to, uh, to, to John, because like I said, I noticed, I was just, I was saying to myself, well, who the hell is my subscribers here? Because of the show that I did before New Year's, New Year's uh, Eve and all that, I uh, mean, you know, I was talking about some things I was kind of upset about, so I was saying, I was just trying to figure out if, um, you know, possibly, because when... But some of my relatives were here. I was saying, you know, you gotta check me out on YouTube and everything. Cause I heard like a long time ago, some years ago, that uh, one of my relatives was at one of my relatives' house, and they were like, they were checking me out, and that's good. It was Pat, Pee Wee, we called him Pat. And here's the taxi again. So it turned out I was I was at that light, and this this guy was beeping at me. That that could be Frank, cause that's more like a, a maroonish. The other one was yellow, so so a taxi was behind me beeping. I thought it was Frank, and I figured, oh, we'll meet up at uh, that couple of farms, and I'll ask him about that that light. So anyway, getting back to being cautious and all that kind of stuff, because uh, my mom was watching the news last night. Made the butterfly shrimp. We brought over Lisa a dish. She loved it. Thanked us so much. You know, she's got it. She's up there. She's up there, but she's got all her scruples. Uh, very wonderful. For, for the last how many years, she's been saying, don't worry, it's going to all work out. You'll make it, you'll work out, because all the fights and this and that, and the things. I mean, I was willing to take this on. Like I often said, I thought, like, when I first started, I thought it'd be easy. And I thought, you know, if you just put a lot into it or, or something like that, or whatever, build it and it will come. But anyway, so she's watching the news, and it was an owl. She goes, oh, look, you see the owl come down like this and that, like, you know, it's up at Able Park. The big white owl, mostly, you know, mostly white, you know, maybe some specks on it and everything. And I'm like, you know, when I ran up Spring Ave, like, you know, I don't know, maybe a couple of weeks ago, I know I seen an owl. And I know their movements and everything, and the lighting is good. I mean, where it was. And uh, sure enough, and it's not too far up. You know, if there's an owl here, because we I never seen owls, not that I I'm aware of. I don't know the, the that. I have our coffee now. So anyway, then I said, Oh, there's so many deers. So many deers up here. She goes, You better be careful. You better be careful. I'm like, I know, I know, I know the whole family, I know where they are. I mean yesterday in the show, I said, Oops, you see them fly, run because my father had expression, you know, he's like, run like a deer. He also had expression, hit the road. <clears throat> I'm good here. Just, uh, my the sinuses, I mean, it, it's beautiful. I didn't take any claret or anything like that. I just, before I left, because I know I'll be speaking, I just, uh, you know, ran myself under the humidifier for like about 20 minutes. And, uh, loosens everything up. Helps you, like, you know. Because the things in the winter, like, you know, the heat, heat in the house, you know, could, could do a little irritation, you know, in the winter, or anything. There are things 
that can um, can affect that. You know, and have to do it. Maybe it'd be also good to drink a lot of water. You know, maybe Pierre water with lime. But you know, it'd also be nice to have a little studio. You know, got some nice compliments on. Uh, you know, you should have a show and all that. Yes, and I'm talking to Frank, and um, he was telling me because I asked about one of his sisters, and um, but well, he's not on my list. She used to be. He's called me Rod Stewart and this and that. But you know, and then you know, Muscatella too. There's a lot of people dropped off. You know, there was crazy stuff that I was doing. Crazy stuff back then. I was just running around, analyzing all this stuff, trying to make sense of it, and uh, I think that's where we are these days. We're at the point where, uh, okay, we kind of see what's going on here. Let me get, all right, let's forget all that for for a second, whatever I was going on about. So getting around to Frank, he had a little intro music. In the Minneapolis. There. Tell by the way I use my walk, I'm a woman smash, no time to dog. Use it low. So anyway, he's uh well, he's going on about about all that, about the youth and all this kind of stuff. And I said, well, cause I could tell after a while because the thing is he's a Democrat conservative. Democrat conservative. Okay? So he's he's very much anti Trump. And back in the day we we used to have conversations. Sometimes I you know, I mean I could have recorded him and everything like that. I said, but no, we're not. I don't do that. I don't ambush anybody or anything like that. Some years ago, I did. Like, I had a friend. Uh, he was an instructor for like uh, this certain group. I think we're gonna be uh, we're gonna implement that talk. You know, bring that in to uh, the discussion here. Because the reason why I say that, you know, we have somebody that you know mentioning the Lord and all that kind of stuff, and. We will want to get into that because, uh, of course, you know, the way things are, I mean, a debate like that is sure sure enough around the corner and because we bounce around all the stuff. But right now, okay, we're on the we're on the wall, we're on the immigration, all that kind of stuff. Again, I'm in the middle, I'm neutral, I'm an observer about it. I mean, uh, if you have an answer, then th that's good for you. But uh, it's, it's a thing where you... You really have to have a you know collaboration, and you really have to have really good thought about it. Just looking at the timer here, just to see you know how much of a how much wind or how much uh, bullshit I can say. We're just kidding. Yes, it's good to joke, and we're fine with being ignored. I just want to bring everything over here to the wall, and you know if people you know if they ignore you like well, I don't know if he, I just think he's busy. I don't know. But I, just, I, I often said to him, I said, I said, you know, you ignore me, I called him up, and he's just going on about humming, 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 humming. I'm like, you know, just get to the point, answer the question. If you need time to think about it, I don't know. I, you got to take everybody at their word. But the thing is, because I, I said to you, he said, well, I might, might listen to in the afternoon. Well, if he did, he had to hear me say, I said, look, 15 minutes, I don't care when it is. You know, come over here. You don't. You don't want me going over there. It's obvious. I mean, my my, my this friend I grew up. I know him since I was eight years old. I'll talk more about the, the relationship there, the family, and all that kind of stuff. We'll tie all that in. But it was scary. Because, you know, once he brought up Trump, it, it just it didn't end. You know, it went on for an hour. But because you know we 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 know each other like a book, you know that kind of stuff. We're able to joke around about it, you know. Bust, bust. I'm not gonna use any profanity like that. And uh, then we'll segue into you know what my man was talking about today, and a lot of people like you know the new the new Congress and the swearing in. Uh, one thing that you know I truly believe in. I, I believe in opportunity. And I know Elizabeth Warren said something about, you know, there are people in certain areas, you know, it's hard for them, and they're, they're, they're kind of boxed in, stuck. Yes, I have a degree in community human services. I studied it, studied Albert Ellis for a little while, uh, worked in the field, seen a lot of stuff. Like I said, with every issue, with everything that's going on, there has to be uh, better ways of coping with it, uh, especially not grandstanding or, uh, you know, 
just taunt, like taunting, taunting. Okay, all right. So, so you'll get power back someday. What are you gonna do? What are you building up for? What are you doing? All right. And we're not angry or anything like that. We're just saying it's it's about time to say okay. I mean, you know, it's like there there was a lesson like um. It, it's sort of it's sort of with God and everything like that. I, I heard this a long time ago, but um, I don't think I have enough. No, 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 no. I don't have enough time again to get into it. We're up to almost 16 minutes. We'll be right back. Hey, 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 hey.